I'm with David Corbin of CEO Space. I'm Dr. Nick Delgado. Tell me about the concept of your new book and why is it making you so passionate? <laughs> well, uh, I'm passionate and I'm grateful that it hit number two on Amazon, uh, seeing that people are really excited to hear about this concept. You know, for many, many years I've been around the business of personal development yes. uh, and uh, fulfillment and wholeness, people wanting to lead a big life. Yes. And I read the books, you know, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and nowhere in that positive mental attitude genre mm -hmm. does it say we should ignore negative issues. Nowhere. In fact, the latest uh, Think and Grow Rich book, Three Feet from Gold, yes. I'm in that book, yes. and I'm pleased to be in that book. And I say, we need to not just accentuate the positive, which is important, yes. but we need to sometimes illuminate the negative. Illuminate the negative. Don't just eliminate it. Okay. Now, I mean, obviously from an NLP standpoint, when you use the words negate, like I don't want to get fat or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. what are you telling me then about illuminate the negative? Oh, yeah, that's interesting. It's so funny because again, <laughs> my friend Zig Ziglar who just passed away, yes. who, he used to say, Dave, you imitate me better than I do me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we used to joke about uh, how yeah. a lot of people take a very simple view on, on philosophy that mm -hmm. goes this way. Something yes. comes up in life. Yeah. Let's say, God forbid, this is a melanoma. Well, positive mental attitude says, put a Band-Aid over it mm -hmm. and move on. Right. Because I'm gonna focus in on the 99% of my dermal layer, that's absolutely fine. And we say, no, no, no. Yeah. Accentuate the positive, illuminate the negative. Don't say, I am negative, don't be negative. Right. Right. But go into those issues, challenges. And, okay. You know, the concept is, is we can't solve everything we face but we can't solve anything unless we face it. We have to face it. And this it. is about face it, okay. follow it, and fix it. When you face it and you follow it, where's the fix it? Are you doing something from a neuro-linguistic program? Are you doing timeline therapy to let it go, the way Tad James, who's mm -hmm. a, yeah, a yeah. student of yours, I mean, yes. what are some of the technologies you do to let it go? You know, it's an interesting thing. Um, one, in some cases, from a, from a timeline therapy, we want to separate the learnings from the negative emotions, yes. hold the learnings in the place that we hold our learnings and let them. This is not that. Let no. me give you an example. Okay. From a business perspective, uh, doctors, uh, eye doctors, eye doctors have had an issue and a challenge where um, if they don't sell eyeglasses, they're out of business. Right. They'll never, they'll, they'll have skinny kids. They can't earn their money doing a refraction in the office. Okay? okay. And when they face that, they go, well, I don't want to sell. I, I'm a doctor. I'm not going to sell. So I'm going to tap my opticians on and say, you guys do the selling. And the opticians, they don't want to sell either. Okay. We can't do our business unless they do. And there's a third person in the equation. Mm -hmm. The patient, they don't want to be sold. So we said, face it. We can't sustain our business plan just on that. Okay. And people don't want to do it, and we follow it. If we don't do this, we don't have business. And we follow it to the people don't want to be sold. Well, the following is, the fix it in that case was, okay. what if we can get the patient to want to buy solutions to the problems that they perceive? Okay. Ah, so the fix was? Yes. Patient interview, mm -hmm. touch screen software. Okay that had the patient come up to an awareness of sometimes they get headaches right. using the computer or glare. And now when the doctor is, comes in, the doctor is presented with a readout. Mm -hmm. And so the doctor could say, you know, Nick, you indicated you have a challenge with such and such. Tell me about it. Yeah. Now we're solving for problems instead of selling anything. In fact, I, de I, I invented and developed a touchscreen patient interview software that uh, we won Innovation of the Year Worldwide presented by Margaret Thatcher, yes. Tom Peters, Maya Angelou, uh, and, and others. So wow. when you face it, follow it, and fix it, magical things happen. I love it. Yeah. What's going to be the title of the book, or have you established that a title? That book is out. It's called Illuminate, Harnessing the okay. Positive Power and Negative Think. I'm very excited about my <laughs> latest book, yeah? which is all about branding. It's called Preventing Brand Slaughter. You're either building your brand, yeah. which is brand integrity, yes. or you're killing your brand, yeah. which is brand slaughter in the first, second, or third degree, and nothing's neutral. Wow. Yeah, I'm kind of a pragmatic guy. Okay. I invent products, build businesses around the product, I sell the business, write books, talk to organizations, associations, yeah. and practices right. about what we've learned, have them leverage it, 
and move on down the road. So beyond the book, what is your highest level passion? Is there a webinar that you do or is it a live audience? I mean, what, what are some of the, the well, things you're doing to really exchange that knowledge? I mean, you're, yeah, you're, you're awesome. Good, good I mean, question. this is great. Um, I found out from my doctor recently yeah. um, uh, that I'm going to die. I just found this out. It was kind of interesting. I only have about 45 years left. And in that time... <laughs> in <laughs> Wait that a minute. Time, I'm going to break the world record for aging. So I don't know about limiting yourself at 45. Okay. You might buy into that. Well, so let's maybe, leave it above that I'll limit. Maybe I'll go past 105. Uh, I don't know. Let's go I mean, past your it. lips to God's ears, my mother would say. Give me some love on that. But my passion, you love. My passion is in service. Yeah. And, and, and I believe that most doctors I know are entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Well, they call themselves entrepreneurs, but they're not really. And you guys no. know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. They're not really entrepreneurs. But what I like to do is I like to share wisdom, applied wisdom that's worked yes. with individuals. Because I think so many entrepreneurs, if they, uh, many of the, the law of entropy, says that uh, it applies to entrepreneurial business and practices. Practice management, as you know, is an oft overlooked, oft spoken about, but rarely understood thing, you know? I would agree. Right, right, right. So uh, when we share ideas and concepts mm -hmm. uh, in a way that we're going to mitigate the possibility of them making costly mistakes mm -hmm. of their, their resources of time and money and effort and life and mm -hmm. love, et cetera, mm -hmm. uh, we keep them alive. Yeah. And uh, so that's my, my passion is in sharing information. I go back to that George Burns movie where, oh God, where George Burns is God and, mm -hmm. and John Denver is that befuddled grocery clerk. Right. And John Denver says, but you give us all these problems. You give us polluted <laughs> water and you give us this and that. And you don't give us a solution. And George Burns playing God says, but, but, but I did give you the solution. I gave you one another. I gave you one another. Wow. So I like sharing that. And yeah. this association that I came to speak with uh, yeah. in Las Vegas yes. is all about brain tithing. Okay. Uh, we, the faculty, subject matter experts in intellectual property, uh, management and protection, <coughs> private okay. placement memorandum, branding, uh, et cetera, et cetera, organization. Uh -huh. We tithe our time to entrepreneurs, business owners, be they doctors, dentists, okay. lawyers, et cetera, et cetera, et okay. cetera. <coughs> it's, a, it's a cool life. So what if I were to open up <coughs> your perspective to getting a little drop, putting it under a microscope, your actual cellular health, your oxidative stress, looking at adrenals, looking at hormone interactions, taking all this data and information, but visually showing you what's going on and what you can do to get to the next level. Would that possibly be something that might motivate you as an as a individual interested in breaking the world record of aging or at least living past 100? As they say in Texas, hail yes. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to do that. That's good. Well, that's what we're going to do next. We're going to head on over and get a quick drop and show you what we do. Let's do it. Let's go do it. All right. Okay.